New tonight with more middle class housing coming to Iron County, state leaders are highlighting the project. We first told you about it last month and now TV6's Caden Minus takes a look at the current status of this effort and what the state's role is. An Iron County housing endeavor is trying to bring 68 housing units to Crystal Falls. The Iron County Economic Chamber Alliance hosted a presentation today on the status of the housing project. Director Zach Hotela says the group has been working for 15 months. He explains this multi-million dollar project intends on tackling the missing middle market housing in the Upper Peninsula. Housing that's available to anyone, whether that be people from in the service industry, to your nurses, engineers, medical staff. The housing project is a collaborative effort between the Alliance, the City of Crystal Falls, and Build UP, which is a housing fund from Invest UP. Invest UP CEO Marty Fatanti says Build UP is a nonprofit made from a $15 million fund from the state. He explains the project will use around $1 million of the fund. Well, there's two ways in which um, that funding can be accessed. The first is developers directly, and it's kind of last money in on a housing development project. Secondly, it's like they did here in Crystal Falls. It's to support what's needed for infrastructure. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist attended the presentation today. He says he wants Lansing to continue to support projects like what's happening in Crystal Falls. We're going to invest 10 times more than we've ever invested in the state of Michigan housing on an annual basis. We have $50 million a year coming through the revitalization and placemaking program. We have a state budget the governor introduced their budget recommendation. We got another $1.4 billion that will be mobilized through the system. We asked Hotela where the units will be developed. He only would say it would be within the Crystal Falls city limits. Hotela adds the developer is currently working towards an agreement with the city. He expects ground to be broken in 2025. Caden Minus, TV6 News, Crystal Falls.